What is going on guys today? We're going to be showing you how to get Haaland for practically nothing for free. With obviously the new additions of the 84 times 10 the past couple of weeks, or at least the last week at the very minimum, a lot of SBCs have been easily completed with using one method. We've done the video on Zidane and we are going to show you a little bit more of a deep dive on Haaland as he is a 99 rated striker just coming in I think now underneath a million coins with 299 uh, 92s, 391s, 290s, 389s, 288s and 287s. You can use this method to do any sort of SBCs. We are on the second account so it hasn't finished anything so as you can see there is a lot to go through so this is roughly what your teams well your SBCs are looking like then you can complete anybody from this method so i've actually not done anything on this account so we'll see what we can get with straight away so the first thing you want to be looking at realistically if you've got nothing in your team if you've done absolutely no upgrades as of now the daily login is number one that is obviously going to be a big one to get yourselves a double 83 plus objectives in there so if we go in and we'll just go and whack in a bronze card it gets your first one done jobs are good and i in fact i don't even know how many days we've got left of this so there's six days left so if you are starting it today maybe you've just not been bothering and maybe you want to come back and get that cheeky Haaland I believe it is in milestones you've got the daily logins so you won't be able to finish all of them as of now but you should be able to get to six which obviously will give you 584 plus if obviously you have been keeping up to date you'll get your next sort of batch very very soon also on today from Friday you get an 85 times 10 for free from EA and we got the same last week so let's see what we get in this one from EA today team of the season is going to be to start with and this is a perfect start to any grind because obviously you should get enough to do the 84 times 10 from the beginning which is always perfect so we actually get quite a nice one Van Persie is always a big one to try and get so we're going to get out any duplicates and the best way to start with especially if you haven't started the 84 times 10 is to start it that is going to be the best way to do it so let's go and find it we will if you are starting on a day i would normally start with the 85 times 10 first then move on to the 84 times 10 once i finished all of them 85 times 10 and then obviously the 84 times 30 i would always grind as well i don't think i want to say the 82 times 100 has probably gone by now I don't think it's in here anymore as we moved on to the 84 times 30 instead. So obviously if that does come up again, then you want to be doing that one also. So straight away, the 85 times 10 is going to be the best one to do every single day. You get, what, seven goes of it every single day. And as you go, so if you've obviously got the cards into your club, you put them newest, then obviously you go newest and you can see what you're giving up straight away. So I would normally go in and whack whatever I can. Golds are normally in straight away as we get them very, very easily. And then I'd probably go as far to this. Maybe keep in one card. If you've got a couple of 95s, 96, 93s, then maybe keep in two of them and or maybe put in two 93s in and then just give in a 91 to yourself. Could be a move. As this is an 88, I'm going to keep that one. Let's just see how far this rating's off. So we've got an 89. Obviously, we want to keep as many golds as possible. So we will obviously go ahead and put some silvers in. If that is, again, better, then obviously go with the bronzes as well. That, that will always work as well. We can put two bronzes in if you wanted to keep one of the golds. So we know Tiago obviously is the duplicate. We could go with silvers and potentially drop down the rating even more. We could keep Vardy instead. Maybe we keep Rodri. Even better. You could even, again, go as far to that and put in another gold or put two silvers in and keep yourself another team of the season. It depends on... A, how bothered you are to do this, but also how much you've already done grinding-wise to be able to get to the point where you literally can just do any SBC. I'd like to tell you about skycoach.gg. They offer many features within the FIFA franchise, from FIFA coins to FIFA weekend league boosts, from trusted sellers, pro players, and are the best prices on the market currently. They have fast delivery, high quality services, lots of games, and also a cashback program. The more coins you buy, the more eligible you are for cashback options. So if you want to buy FIFA coins at the best price, click the link in the description of this video. It will be active promo code for 10% discount from my subscribers. All you have to use is the code JT11 at the checkout to receive this bonus. On to the video. 
So obviously we will deal with this, put Tiago back into the club. And also just as a little sneak preview, if you can't be bothered to open packs, go into the browser, go into your preview pack, make sure you're opening this. It works on console. I don't know if it works on PC. I believe there is a way. I, I just don't have the PC version, so I don't know. But if you go onto this now and you're on your pack you want to open, as we know, previews there, double tap LB and press A at the same time. It will open the pack automatically for you. So just a little hint. We get this double. So here we go again. Just go and put them in there. So they go back to the newest. So remember them. 89 team of the season. Sommer. And obviously uh, a Camby. I want to say is his name. The shapeshifter. So again, if you want to do the 84 times 10 after this, it is the same method. So once I've done that 85 times 10, it would be the same for the 84. Obviously, it is an 87 rated team. Back to newest. And as you can see, the 89's there. We put the two golds in. And also, we have got a Kanbe that we can put in. So then, I'm thinking we've got a 94, 93. We've already got... Who have we got in there so far? We've got a 92, an 89, two 85. So we'll go with the 89's and 91's. I'll go and I'll see if I can keep... The 93 potentially. That's an 86. So I might even be able to do with this golds. So it should be relatively simple. Normally you can kind of tell with the rating. What I can do as well. If you've got a lot of 75s. I tend to go by newest with gold. And just see if we've got any 78s here. Just to bump the rating up. So we don't have to constantly keep going up and down. We know with 75s that works. Again if you can be bothered. Silvers, bronzes. If you wanted to lower that rating even more. To the absolute minimum. Pretty much as long as you're doing the upgrades, you will have no problems with doing this. So let's go ahead and open up this next one. And then we'll show you what you can be doing once obviously you are fully efficient in this grind. So again, because we've already done that trick, it will take us back to the preview. So we've got to make sure that we've got to go back. And again, we just follow the same pattern. Double tap LB, press A, and it opens it up for us. So KDB, great start to be honest. Martinez, very nice. So we'll try and keep them two at a minimum. What I personally do with this, especially if you are collecting cards... I would normally keep some that I don't see very often. So Martinez and KDB are two that I don't see whatsoever on the main. Luckily, I've managed to have both of them already pre-packed from the actual team of the season. So I don't necessarily need them. But De Jong team of the season, um, if you're looking at Pele, R9, anybody of some sort of value, they are hard to pack still nonetheless. So I would try and keep them and kind of keep them just in my club as a collection. Again, if you can't be bothered, then more than happy to just keep grinding it out. So Adiemi was one of the duplicates. I'm going to just go and put all of these in just to keep that grind worth it because a 97 and 95 is always worth keeping. We've got an 84 and we'll just go to the other two. I think I'm going to need golds. Maybe not. 88. Beautiful. So again, grind it back round. And what you find in here, so if we just go back into and put everybody back in... What we're finding, we've got the 85 times 10 already done now. So if we just go back in, again, this is why I normally just open the pack normally because I'm always going press now on that preview pack. So we put Cruz back in. And now, for instance, if we are looking at Haaland, we've done a handful of upgrades. Nothing crazy. You can get these absolutely pumping once you're like, kind of cooking on smoke. We can get Haaland. So let's have a look. Normally I go from bottom to top as I find as you go further in, it gets easier and easier. I'd rather do that than go the other way because I'm going to need more in the long run. So for instance, if I go special and go newest, so if I wanted to give these two up, I could. But for instance, anybody that I've got at the moment, if I'm kind of keeping the best ones, I know there is a couple of players in here that obviously we got from previous upgrades. As you can see, we've got a lot of 86s there. But we've got a lot of good players already. So if we try and put as many of them in as possible, anybody that really you do get again. So for instance, that is going to be hopefully a 91 so let's just change that to high obviously we did get a few people back and 88 would give us a 91 so realistically what i'm gonna have to do here i could grind that a little bit more and just grind out a little bit to be able to afford but obviously this being a second account i'm not too fussed about the players the main account is where i'm going putting martinez in probably not the uh, the worst option to put in i'd rather keep kdb in that option and what we do then is is we get a tradable pack back. So we open up the tradable pack. If it's going to give us nice, it isn't. Team of the season, you can obviously discard for 10k. If you get anybody of value, make sure you are selling these. Some people, or what you can do, is just sell everything from these anyway. What you can utilize with that, because we're getting all of the untradable stock, 
all of the tradable stuff can go back to coins and you can open up pre uh, promo packs. So we do get the 250 players and the also 150 players for 300,000 coins and 400,000 coins. If we are doing tradable packs, you'll realize that will grow very, very quickly, giving you then an, an absolute amount to go through. Once obviously you've opened that one, you'll get 250 players to put back into SBCs, just continuing in that grind absolutely like fire. In terms of upgrades, what else you could do if you're not bothered with players? The 94 shapeshifter or footage pick is going to be brilliant. I'm personally now I've finished all the SBCs. I'm grinding out the 90 team of the season or footage shapeshifter pick. That will obviously give you the chance of all the 99s, any previous footy cards that you've not got, and any shapeshifter or team of the seasons that are not in packs. I want to say there's none that are not in packs at the moment. So it is mainly footage we are looking for. Obviously, the 84 times 30 is another one to be doing. If you really wanted to, you could do the attacker icons. Gives you another shot at getting your Pele, your R9, uh, your Hullets, I suppose, if you look in there. And yada, yada, you can keep going. So again, it just gives you that chance. 87 plus player pick. It's nice, but I wouldn't really recommend. I'd probably go for the footage pick instead. And I think that's really about it. With obviously doing the grind, the daily upgrade, or I think if they are still here, I don't even know if they're still here now. We've got the daily gold one. So that goes in six days. I would have thought we should have the bronze and silver still, but I think that might have gone now. That might re-return back on Monday, but it looks like we've only got the gold upgrade at the moment, unless it's been moved to somewhere else, which I don't think it would have done. Still got swaps, foundation. We haven't even finished foundation on this account. But in terms of that, you're looking at the gold upgrade. I would say utilize the ultimate bronze and silver, which obviously allows you to do the daily gold. So doing this too will give you obviously enough to be able to go and grind out the daily gold, giving you 11 commons 10 times a day for the next six days. So that's an easy grind to get going if you wanted to do that. Other than that, it is just constant repeat, repeat, repeat. And you just keep going. As we saw, we've done the 92 already. It takes a couple of minutes. Do that again and again for 13 times. You'll get Haaland done in literally, I reckon you could get it done in an hour of grinding at the very minimum. Maybe two hours if you're being kind of a bit lazy with it. In this one, again, great pack. We could definitely keep a lot of them players. There's literally nine specials, 188, which is not bad. Very easy grind. So let me know down below if this helps. If you need any other questions answering of how to get golds, bronzes, silvers, all of that jazz, leave it down below. It is a simple grind. If you need bronzes, bronze packs into the bronze upgrade, silver upgrade if you wanted the commons or the daily gold, if obviously you are grinding it that way, and just put them all back into the 84 times 10. Bath that. Let me know if it's helped. Peace.